in the development of the anti-BCMA, anti-CD3 B specific, we have, and in that case, El Ranatamab in the magnetism program, mag magnetism program, and uh, particularly magnetism three, which is for relapse refractory myeloma advanced in disease. Uh, we have very rapidly learned that the, the targeting BCMA would uh, in, in, uh, increase, worsen the hypogammaglobinemia of the patients. And we have rapidly learned that these T cell redirecting um, drugs were inducing lymphopenia and increasing the risk of infection, all type of infection actually. All type of infection actually, a viral infection, bacterial infection, fungal infection, even parasites infection. And so, uh, if, if you face a bacterial infection, you can give antibiotics, makes sense. If you have a fungal infection, you can give uh, anti-fungus drugs. And for parasites, there is less possibilities, but you still have Bactrim, for example, Cotrimoxazole you can give. The problem is that for viral infections, there is no treatment for most of them. And so we have started to think that potentially, similarly to what has been learned and done in the allogeneic transplantation setting, you could uh, give, you could try to see if, if correcting hypogammaglobinemia would improve uh, the risk, limit the risk, reduce the severity and the incidence of this infection. Number one. Number two, uh, because here we talk about immunoglobulin replacement, but maybe spacing out the injections, <coughs> helping to recover the lymphopenia, maybe that also is something you should consider not only working on hypogammaglobinemia, but maybe also on the lymphopenia that is induced by these drugs. So working on the hypogammaglobinemia, there has been a, now a quite, a, quite a great experience on, um, on giving IGIV monthly at 0 0.2, 0 0.4 milligram per kg. And it seems to be very, very effective, actually. Uh, at least if you give the B-specific anti-BSM anti, anti 3 such as el a single agent. Uh, with the combinations, uh, and so magnesium 3 was single agent. In, now, in my own experience, so I'm taking one step from, I'm one step away from the study and the poor step per se that focus on magnesium 3. When you, when you combine to the B-specific, some of the patients truly benefit from the polyvalent immunoglobin replacement, and some of them do, but maybe you need more. So, so again, the, the, the take home message here is that um, probably all the patients on uh, El Hanatamab, anti-BCMA, anti-CD3, B-specifics, need to have very rapidly a re an Ig replacement and the hypogammaglobinemia being corrected or taken care of. Uh, and, and the next question, maybe for next year, the next question will be, and then uh, do you continue constantly or can you stop, monitor, and when the patient becomes again hypogammaglobinemic, you would reinduce, you would restart the treatment. Some of the centers look at the IgG value below 400. Some of the people systematically stop the immunoglobin replacement and monitor. I don't know who's right or who's wrong. The, the study here didn't look at that, could not look at that. But, uh, but that's one of the questions you will still need to have to answer.